Hey everyone, this is Dr. Clyde Letsom again, and this time I'm looking at uh, helping you guys with setting up uh, multi-source, multi-loop uh, circuits on a breadboard. Okay, and so what we're going to start with here first is a multi-source uh, circuit. So as, as you can see in this circuit here, we have two voltage sources, a V1, V2, and we have two resistors, R1 and R2. Now, if you, um, one of the things, of course, I encourage you all to do is to kind of set it up on the side first to kind of see what it would look like. So in this case, what I have here is I have my two components here, which being resistor one and resistor two. And then I have two, multi, uh, two uh, voltage sources, V1 and V2. Now, because of the simplicity of the circuit, honestly, you really don't need to set it up on the board. You can actually just connect the red wires uh, from both power supplies to the resistor and then you can connect both the uh, black wires from the negatives of the power supplies to the second resistor down here resistor number two uh, however though if you want to go ahead and continue doing it on the board uh, of course again put the components to the side and then once you put them on the side you decide how you're going to set them up now in my case the way that I would set this circuit up is as follows so I would have my one power supply over here. This would be my V1 that's connected to the two terminals, the red and black terminal. And then from there, we have a jumper wire going into the two buses, uh, the negative bus and the positive bus over here on the left side. And since this is, has two voltage sources, we can use a second voltage source and connect that second voltage source to the bus, the buses on the right side here, the positive and the negative uh, supply uh, buses on the right side. And then, as you can see here, what I did was I connected the red line over here, or the positive, to this resistor, and then the positive over here to this resistor. I really shouldn't be saying this component, but since I showed you the circuit in advance there, we're dealing with resistors in the lab, so we'll just go ahead and say resistors, but they can be any parallel, or not parallel, but any components that are in series here with the two voltage sources, okay? And so down here, you'll notice that the negative from over here is connected to this resistor and the negative from down here is connected to this resistor or this component and therefore then giving us the loop. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and wipe away the um, holes in the breadboard that aren't being used. And so as you can see, then this is what our circuit ends up looking like, kind of looks like the loop that we were looking at before where you have this loop going through here and then you have this loop uh or pardon me the one loop that's actually being connected to the uh with the two resistors in it all right okay so now we do just look at a multi-loop sing pardon me multi-source single loop circuit now we're going to look at a single source multi-loop circuit and for this one we have one voltage supplier which is v1 and we have R1, R2, R3. R2 and R3 are in parallel to each other. And when you combine the two of those together, those are in series with R1. So again, if you set them up on the side here, just using strictly wires, you sort of connect it like this, okay? Where this is R3, this is R2, and this is R1, okay? If you wanna go ahead and use a breadboard, you go ahead and of course you put your components on the side, all right? After you put your components on the side, start adding your components to the board in a logical way that actually makes sense, right? So this would be my way of doing it if I had to do it real quickly here. And you'll see that my voltage supply is connected to the positive terminal and the negative terminal. And then I jump those over to the buses over here. And then from there, I have the positive being connected to this row here, which then connects to this. Now you can make one jumper and go all the way across. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I just happen to use two. Okay, and then notice that that wire here is connected in the same row with these two resistors here. And then these two resistors here are connected to this uh, resistor on this side. And then this resistor is connected to the negative over here, therefore creating our circuit that we're looking for, which has two loops in it but one source okay and so now when we start to remove the holes that are actually being used okay you can better see the circuit set up because the rest of the holes honestly are irrelevant to us we don't care about them only the ones that are connected to the uh components that we have connected in the circuit here okay so that's our 
multi-loop single source circuit. So now let's look at a multi-loop multi-source or multi-source multi-loop circuit. Okay, and in this case, what we have is we have a V1 over here, R1, and in series, these two components are in series. We have a R2 and a V2, and these two together are in parallel with R3. Okay, and so again, we can set this up on the side just by using strictly wires, and we can do it this way. Okay, where we have voltage source one here, voltage source two over here. We have resistor number two, resistor number three, and resistor number one. Okay, of course, if you want to actually put this onto the board, you have your equipment over on the side here. Now, again, this is how I would set it up. Um, there Again, there's a number of ways to actually do this, but this is how I would set it up. And so what I did in this circuit here, and it's, it's probably a little bit hard to see, um, I actually switched, I'm going to tell you in advance, I switched R3, okay, with R2, which is possible. You can actually do that. So in other words, when I say I switch R3 with R2, let me rephrase that. So there was a line that had R3 in it uh, by itself, and then there was a line that had R2 in series with the voltage source 2, okay so what i did was i moved the voltage source and r2 over to the right so that's what this is here along with um this over here all right so this is my r2 along with the voltage source which are in series and then i have r3 that i moved to the inner part here which is connected to that line up here connected here and therefore connected here Okay, so let's go ahead and remove all the holes that aren't being used. And I kind of prematurely did that, but I kind of moved back. So let's go ahead and remove those holes that aren't being used. And whoop, went too far. All right, and so what you'd notice then is that this is the exact uh, configuration uh, that was shown in the circuit on the previous screen there. And this will give us our um, voltage source two which is in series with resistor two. Both of those, those will be in parallel with resistor number three, which is along here. And then those three components, okay, will then be, if we combined all three of them together, would then be in series with this resistor that's down here. And you can see that uh, in our circuit, okay? All right, so this was a multi-source, multi-loop and uh, circuit here. And remember, again, this video was on multi-source, multi-loop uh, breadboard and, uh, and circuit setup. And so this is going to help you all with the Kirchhoff's uh, Law Lab that we're going to be looking at in lab. Okay. Um, again, this is uh, Dr. Clyde Let's I mean, If you guys like what you saw, go ahead and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. The YouTube link is down here at the bottom or URLs down here at the bottom. And you can also uh, go to my website for more information about me. Um, again, like the video if you um, like what you saw. Uh, thank you very much.